In this video, I want to look at the ways we talk about and think about how much of something we have. Now, so far with formula writing and with balancing reactions, we've been thinking mostly in terms of individual atoms and individual molecules. So for example, when we're talking about water, which is H2O, that means that every individual molecule of water, so every teeny tiny little piece of water, has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Now, there's some limitations on thinking that way. So for example, if you have a glass of water, if you were to sit down and count every single molecule of water, so every single time you have two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, this is how many molecules of H2O are in a typical glass. 6.65 times 10 to the 24 molecules. That is a lot. Because scientific notation isn't the mo necessarily the most natural way to think about numbers, here's that number written out. I gotta be honest, I don't even know how to say that number. And so what I'm getting at is really, really often when we're dealing with the kinds of quantities that we can measure or work with in chemistry, we're dealing with huge numbers of atoms or molecules. And so that's not always the most useful way to think about and talk about things. And so that's where this idea of the mole comes in. So if you go to the grocery store, you can buy a dozen eggs and you have this container that has a bunch of eggs inside of it, and you know that every time you go get a dozen eggs, if you open up that package, there should be 12 in there. There's lots of other examples like that too. A mole is that for talking about atoms and molecules. A mole refers to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. And that can be atoms or it can be compounds. And so if you have a pile of some atom and you count it up and you find that you have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, that would be one mole of that atom. Now this number isn't really important for what we're going to do with this. What I want you to know is that a mole is lots of molecules and that it's always the same number. And so it doesn't matter whether we're talking about moles of hydrogen, moles of oxygen, or whether we talk about moles of water, no matter what, we're talking about the same number of molecules. And so this is, again, a lot like a dozen. It's a shorthand for talking about a larger quantity. And so moles is often used um, as uh, when we're talking about like quantities in the lab. Now, we're also this unit going to be dealing a lot with this idea of molar mass. And molar mass is just the mass of one mole. So if I talk about the molar mass of water, that just means if I were to get that correct number of water molecules, so if I had 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of those two hydrogens connected to one oxygen, if I had that one mole worth of times, I could put that on a scale and I would get the molar mass of water. If I had just that many hydrogens, that would be the mo and I put it put that number 
of hydrogens on the scale. That would be the molar mass. And because atoms are fairly consistent in their mass, the molar mass is very, very consistent. Now, we're going to be making a lot of use of the periodic table with this topic, and so I want to show you where to find that on the periodic table. So I've got the um, hydrogen box from the periodic table I like to use on here. Now, different periodic tables are laid out a little bit differently, and so you may have used one for Chem Essentials A that had the molar mass in a slightly different spot. Um, but ours, it has this number up here is the atomic number. That's not going to be very important for us. Uh, that's mostly a way, or as far as we're concerned right now, that's mostly a way to find things on the periodic table. It's going to have a capital letter, possibly also a lowercase letter. That's the symbol. And that's going to match the way it's uh, listed on the formula sheet as well. So for example, our formula sheet says iron 2 is Fe. If you look on the periodic table, you'll find that iron is listed as Fe. And then the next thing ours lists is the name. And that's the name of the element. And then what's going to be most important right now is this number on the bottom. This is the molar mass. And so if I gathered up one mole of hydrogen atoms, so that specific number, and I put that mole of hydrogen atoms on a scale, it would read 1.008, and that unit is going to be grams. So in chemistry, we usually use the metric system, and so the molar masses that we have on the periodic table is in grams. So that's quick intro to what a mole is. In the next video, I'll talk a little bit about how do you find molar mass for a compound, so something like that H2O.